Here we have an iPad 12.9 second gen that came in for repair, no power. Right off the bat, we see that the charging flex cable was replaced. You can tell by that blue plastic on back of the flex. Customer did not remove it. And the first thing that we did was remove the motherboard and I went over that flex cable again. At first, we were getting a fail on our TriStar tester, but after working on the flex cable, we now have a pass. But the tablet is still not working. Let me show you what's going on. I thought, let me make a video on this and see what the problem is. We know the problem is not the flex cable right now, and we know the problem is not the TriStar chip because TriStar passed. Let's go ahead and plug the charging cable. I want to show you what's going on. Lightning cable is plugged in and press on the battery. And we can see the tablet is charging at 5 volts, 0 0.6 amps. 5 volts, 0 0.6 amps is an indication of a short circuit. I have many videos working on iPads and I developed a pattern. Anytime we see 0 0.6, 0 0.7, even 0 0.8, it's some type of short circuit on the motherboard. So right now we know that we do not have a problem with our flex cable. We know we do not have a problem with our TriStar IC because we have a TriStar tester and everything passed. Before doing anything else, while that cable is still plugged in, why not inspect the board under a thermal camera and see if there's anything obvious. Only takes us a second. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. All right, so that's the motherboard right here. Battery, battery on the bottom. So the main board is right in the center. And I'm gonna press on that battery connector so it makes a good connection. And the only thing I see is this power IC. The only thing I see is this power IC. I like it. It rhymes. Right there. That's most likely the 00090 IC. And I've worked on those before. That's the only hot thing I see on the board. You see it? Right there. Right there. So the thermal camera showed us a heat spot there, but that does not mean that the chip is bad, but it's something to take into consideration, especially that we have worked on a similar problem before. Let's go under the microscope. And that's the chip right there. Yeah, this one is the 00090. We have a lot of those ICs in stock because we use them all the time. That's the battery connector. The Wi-Fi chip, FEC connectors for the screen. So what we're gonna do is measure in this area, just quick measurements to see if we have a short circuit anywhere around this chip, because that's very common on iPads as well. And if you look at the board, you see a lot of flux everywhere. The flux is not from us, it came like this. All we did was went over the flux cable that made the tablet go from a fail to a pass as far as the charging flex cable goes. So just random measurements on those caps here. Okay, right now we are getting a beep because I need to disconnect the battery. We cannot measure in diode mode if the battery is making a connection. So I just disconnected the battery. And let's measure now. That's ground. And we are reading 0 0.16, 0 0.16. 
0 0.16 we do not have a short and I cannot remember if this component was supposed to be missing but even if it's missing it's not gonna prevent the tablet from powering on we do not have a short we do not have a short and we do not have a short so it's safe to say that this area is good just random measurements no short and no short we do not see a short anywhere no short anywhere but that does not mean that the chip is good based on the information I have right now let's go ahead and replace the chip and see what happens so we do not waste a lot of time and we do not go into a rabbit hole that never ends pin number one is on the top left as I have the board oriented we can also mark the board like this to indicate that pin number one is on the top left I mean I must have shared every scenario where iPads fail and that's one of them original Ampeg 559 flux we are a distributor of the flux you can purchase off our site fume extractor on we just bridged the bottom two caps but that's okay what can you do part of the job we are working in a very tight area and things like this will happen right there you see it uh, very nice anti glare light because I cannot see a thing and now I can see everything the magic of the anti-glare light I think this pad here on the bottom left may be oxidized. Now we're going to solder a new chip and hopefully that will fix the tablet pin number one is on the top left because we have the marker right here All right so the chip made a connection Let's rotate the board because I want to tap it from here if I can and we're gonna cover the battery connector just like that
ring light back on. And we're gonna have to add some flux also. Because flux is your friend. Very nice. The chip is in place. It made a connection. We tapped, it pulled back. Perfect. A customer came in just a sec. Hello, how are you? Picking up or dropping off? The customer left. And let's check on Big Boss and see what's going on. Plug the charging cable and we do not want to see 0 0.6 amps. 0 0.7, that's not good. Oh, whoa, 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 look at this. Look at this. It went up to 2.9 amps. Amazing. And we see the battery logo right here. The battery is fully drained. But the important thing is 5 volts, 2.9 amps. That's amazing. Amazing. It's going to take about 10-15 minutes for the tablet to come on. Because the battery is totally dead. But the tablet is fixed. Replacing the chip. Fix the tablet. Awesome. Thank you, Big Boss. The boss of all bosses. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.